Hi everyone and welcome. This is Steve from Open Bomb. In today's video we're going to be working with uh, Siemens Solid Edge and we'll be creating a first bomb from Solid Edge and we'll be installing, configuring, and uh, Open Bomb for Solid Edge in the process. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is create an Open Bomb user account. So we do that by visiting the openbomb.com page, click on use for free, and Let's create an account. Now you're going to see me go through all my typing here, but I'm just going to create a new account. And choose my CAD system type as Solid Edge. And then choose a smart password. After I've done so, Open Bomb will take me to the Open Bomb dashboard. And this is where all my bills material when I start creating them and other Open Bomb assets will appear. But for now, I want to visit this integrations button right here at the top and download the Solid Edge plugin. So I'm going to that. I'm going to download that, uh, that MSI file and go ahead and run it. Now, I'm, I'm not going to do that now, but I'm gonna let you go ahead and run that MSI file. Just follow the prompts. And once you're done there, go ahead and start Solid Edge. Now, once Solid Edge starts, you'll see, you'll open an assembly, and you'll see a new menu here for Open Bomb. This is the Open Bomb UI, and since this is our first time running Open bomb. We're going to visit the settings dialog and we're going to type in the credentials for our new Open bomb account. And we'll select multi level, and there's a few other options here that you may, may not want to include, but you may get a message that says CAD integrations for Open bomb require a professional level user subscription or above. Now, if you get this message, there's two things you can do. Number one, you can click on the Get Trial button, in which case it will give you an immediate upgrade to a free trial. Or uh, second option is to visit our pricing page, go ahead and purchase a professional level or above um, subscription at that time. So I'm going to uh, assume that you're going to go ahead and do that, and then you're going to sign in with your account that has the professional level or above. And here we go. So we're now in Open Bomb. We have a, we're, I'm sorry, we're in Solid Edge. We have an Open Bomb account at professional level or above. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is kind of specific to Solid Edge. So we're going to visit the Tools menu and click on Reports. And what we're doing here is we're telling Solid Edge what properties we want to be exported in the bill of material. So when I see this menu for report, I'm gonna click format. And for some reason, my this format dialog on my machine displays this big text, but it's, it's not important. Uh, yours may be hopefully normal size. Click the options button here and then visit, you know, kind of drop through these, um, these properties and you know, add, remove the information that you think is important, you know, that you want to export to your bill of material. And there's a lot of different things that, that we can add, remove here. I'm just going to select a few. And you know, there's information here about tube radius bends, all kinds of things. And Open Bomb supports all of these, um, all of these property types. So go ahead and choose a, uh, choose a few to export to your bill of material and adjust their order. Click OK and click OK here and go ahead and close that. That's something that you really just need to do one time. There's certain um, template settings in Solid Edge that an experienced Solid Edge user will be familiar with. But uh, for the first timer, just go ahead and go through that process. Let's go back to Open Bomb. We're going to click Multi Level and click this button right here Create Update Bill of Material. OK, 
Okay, so the mum add-in is sending the files, generating thumbnails, and sending all the metadata information over to OpenBOM. So let's click that link and follow this over. You may be asked to sign in again. After you sign in, usually your credentials will be cached for the next, the next time. So here we have it. We have an, uh, a nice looking bill of material straight from Solid Edge with part number and all the other information across the top that we set up in the template. We also have multi-level. In our case, we have this head assembly had uh, some sub-levels and even some sub-levels below those. So this is a great way to get started with a first bill of material out of, uh, out of Solid Edge. So uh, to recap, what we did was we signed in, we went to the OpenBOM website, created an account. We downloaded, downloaded and installed the, uh, the add-in for Solid Edge. We visited the reports area under tools to set up the properties that we want to be exported for bills of material. We visited the OpenBOM settings, provided our credentials, and made a few options that are available there if we needed to. We chose multi-level, and we exported that bill of material to OpenBOM. We then opened that in, in OpenBOM, and here we have it. So there's other, there's other videos on more advanced topics, uh, uh, catalogs, and other things that you'll want to take a look at, but I hope that was useful. We always like to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.